To combat terrorism, the TSA says it is testing new procedures for carry-ons. Maria Villarreal is at LAX. Airport travelers now have to take off their shoes, remove their laptops and liquids over 3.4 ounces. But get ready to declutter your carry-ons even more. At some airports around the country, add this to the list. Items like food, paper, and additional electronics bigger than a cell phone may soon have to be placed in a separate bin. The TSA has quietly been testing this at several small airports, now expanding to larger ones like LA International, Boston, and Fort Lauderdale. The TSA says it wants to eliminate false positives that occur when items like wires and phones can look like weapons, and that screeners can't often tell what's in overstuffed bags. I don't think it's going to streamline the process. Marshall McLean is an expert on airport security and says what's needed is more police, not more screening. To truly have something to deter, you're still going to have to have armed police officers to do that, rather than worried about whether people have too many papers in their luggage. Travelers stuff their bags to avoid check-in fees and say this extra screening will only make flying more difficult. As of right now, it does seem like pre-checkers are going to be exempt from these new policies. Scott, so far, TSA says this is all in an effort to make flying safer. Maria Villarreal, thank you.